Well, hello everybody. Welcome into the green room, the current home of the Pepper Shrine, until we get the blue room fixed anyway. So much better light in there. But, you know what we're doing today? This, you may have noticed, is on the Bear in the Kitchen channel. So what do you think we're doing in the Pepper Shrine today? Ha, ha, ha. Today, we are picking the peppers for the Elevator Salsa. We uh, made a friend here in town, and uh, it seems her old man really, really likes hot salsa. I can do that. Let's get started. So, in order to make this uh, super hot salsa for the boys at the elevator, we will be harvesting from the pepper shrine because these are some pretty unusual and pretty hot peppers. So, I'm just going to do some cutting and I'll show you what we've got here. Start off with a handful of fresh Tabasco peppers, a nice ripe sweet heat pepper and one on its way. Add a couple of Fatali peppers. For our fourth kind of pepper, we're going to throw in a couple of El Jefes, a nice ripe one, and a nice green one, just to tone it down a little bit. Still pretty spicy, though. We're going to have a little fun, throw in seven lemon drop peppers next. For our sixth pepper, we've got some of those super chilies that I love to grow. Our seventh pepper variety is these cherry bombs. Kind of a medium pepper compared to some of the things already in this bin. For number eight, we're going to throw in just a few of these lovely St. Thomas Bane peppers. Oh, those are beautiful. A hint of mercy for this one. These are all just sweet mini bells. And last but certainly not least, some orange habaneros. I think that's ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten varieties of peppers. This is going to be a good salsa. Alright, so out to the onion patch, see what we can dig up to go in this. I like the look of this spot right there. Alright, clean that up and we'll have some nice little bits of onion in that. So here in the colander we've got basically everything that's going to go into this salsa except for a couple cloves of garlic. These I'm going to slice ultra fine and then they're going to get mixed in with everything else. Now bear with me because this is a new kitchen, I'm still learning the angles but Hopefully, you can see just kind of how fine I'm trying to get this garlic. Almost shaving it off more than anything else. Alright, so I'm going to start by just dumping in that finely sliced garlic. Carry on with the rest of this. Next, we've got some uh, medium chopped onions. They're going to get blended more as they go through this, so I didn't want to cut them too small yet. Alright, so next we're going to throw in four coarsely diced cherry bomb peppers. Get some red in this salsa. So next, just to ensure there's some sweetness in all this heat, we're gonna throw in those mini bells. And then, speaking of sweet and heat, let's throw those two peppers into this next. In keeping with that theme, I guess we'll throw in the El Jefes next. That's kinda scary and beautiful at the same time there. All right. See, now we're getting into the much hotter peppers after this. As beautiful as that is starting to look, there's no yellow in there. Now, there's some yellow. The Fatale's on the right, the Lemon Drop's on the left. Oh yeah, this is getting hotter now. That sliced Fatale pepper may look pretty in its design and all, but that made nose hairs burn the second I sliced it. Even the dog is leaving the kitchen. That's a hot pepper. Now that is colorful, but we've still got one, two, three, Four more to go! Some orange, I think. That'll be a nice splash of color in there. For the next bit of heat, I think we'll throw in these St. Thomas Bane peppers. Just two more pepper varieties to get in there before we can add some liquid and start it spinning. These little Tabasco peppers are so small, I almost want to just throw them in whole, but I will cut them up first. And our final hot pepper, and it's a good thing too because we're out of room, the Super Chilies. Alright, so just throw the lid on this thing, I guess. Twist it into place, and we'll get zipping. Alright, let's add some liquid to that. Alright, so for a little bit of liquid, I'm going to have some fun. Add some spiced cider, or uh, spiced rum apple cider into this. Figure the alcohol will help preserve it. And we'll twist this and get it zipping. Oh, 
All right. All right, well, the last thing we're going to add here is the uh, Clean Valley savory salts that we got going from that Cuban oregano. Adds both uh, a nice herbal kind of a green to it and a good schwack of salt. So we're just going to dump this whole little nine grams, I think, of salt in there. Well, maybe half of it. And blend that right into it. All right. Ten pepper elevator salsa. Looks hot to me. All right, so there's really only two things left to do at this point is for me to taste this because you should always taste something before you give it away and to let it sit for a few days before we actually give it away. So, I'm a little nervous, but did it to myself and I'm doing it to somebody else. So, 10 pepper elevator salsa. You guys saw the list? You counted along with me. Not a mild salsa. That's going to be excellent after it sits for a couple of days. So we will let our new friends know. We've got some good hot salsa to take to work. But, um, you know, eat a lot of corn chips with it. It does have some rum in there. Thanks for joining along, everybody. I need to package this up and set it in the freezer because we did not do anything as far as hot processing or canning for this. So i got to get on that. Thanks for joining me. And have yourselves a fantastic day. All right. All right, so... The shocks test. Yeah, I'm. I'm just. Just a little bit is all I have. Pretty good, eh? Wow. <laughs> the review after the fact. How would I describe this salsa? It's kind of sweaty, kind of burny kind of addictive. Shox is diving into it. We're both sitting here going, but it burns, but it tastes so good. I advise serving this with milk, eggnog, cheese, or all three. All right. All right. So before you compulsively dive in there because you're closer, how would you describe this after a few um, can't stop but keep going oh, bites? Oh, painful. It's definitely painful. It makes it tear and there are tears of fire, but I can breathe. So are you done, or are you, you going to go for some more? I have to have more. Can't no. waste that. No, waste not, want not. The hint of lime might be a bit excessive, though, eh? Uh-huh. Yeah, regular chips would be much better for this, but... We bought the store out of regular chips. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so that is the final, final closing, closing clip on this 10 pepper elevator salsa. All right, boys, I hope you enjoy it. And, um, yeah, enjoy at least a couple hours before you drive through the fields to get home. All right, have a great night, everybody.